Hikers, I'm Cadence. And I'm Reed. And on this episode of Life Hike, we open some boxes, test a bear canister, and drink from a creek. Hey everybody, time for an old-fashioned unboxing. In our first box, which I actually opened a week and a half ago, uh, this is the non-surprise uh, box opening, right? We have our Hydro Blue VersaFlow water filter. So this is our water filtration system. Did a little bit of research, we'll talk more about this later on in the video, uh, but uh, this is what's gonna allow us to actually drink fresh water out of any water source. All right, should we open up the next one? Yeah! All right, let's do it. <laughs> Legit unboxing. We haven't seen what's inside. Here well, we I know what's inside, but I haven't we, seen. Yeah, we think we know what's inside. Ready? And if it's the other thing, I'm gonna be mad at you. You think so? Oh, there it is. Grab it. What is it? It's the bear canister! All right, it's our bear vault. So we picked up a BV450. Uh, this is a bear vault. We'll talk in, about this a little bit more later, and uh, we'll give it a test later on in the video. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. Next box. Here, let's uh, let's take this one. Put the box on top of here. Put it on there. All right. Next one. We're gonna be careful opening this one up. Super excited to get some of this new gear and be able to test it out and show it to all of you. Dive in there, Cadence. Yay! It's my backpack! Your backpack! I love it. It's so cool. I like the colors. Awesome. I love that color. Mm -hmm. That's cool. It looks a little smaller than I anticipated it being, but I guess that's okay. Mm -hmm. If it's on the small side. Well, I think side. it's just because it's scrunched up in the. Yeah? Should yeah. we see if we can, like, unloosen it a little bit? I'll do it. I'll do it. Do you want to try it on? Yeah. So, this is the backpack uh, that we picked small. up. It's an 18 liter. Um, so one of the smaller sizes, but I wanted to make sure that it was going to fit Cadence appropriately. It does have height adjustment, which is really cool. And it was one of the few backpacks I could find in this price range that did have hip support, which I figured we would want if she is going to actually carry some weight. Uh, we're thinking that Cadence is probably going to carry around 7 pounds, um, seven to probably less than 10 for sure, uh, as her base weight. So. Yeah, some adjustment to do. I'll turn around this way, let me see it. Nice. It looks like it fits you really well. It's the right length and we don't have to even adjust it. That's... It's just digging into your bum? Yes! <laughs> oh. All right, well, we'll have to do a little trial and error, a little testing uh, later on, okay? A little testing later on. Also in this box, uh, just to earn free shipping from the company that I ordered it from, uh, we got a couple of awesome little decathlon um, inflatable pillows. So we I should. I thought they were going to be bigger than that. Well, remember, everything's about keeping our weight down. So uh, this is a little bit of a luxury. Um, but I figured. I want to grow it up. You know, we might be able to. Uh, I can get the thing undone. <laughs> we might be able to actually enjoy a night's sleep with a little bit of head support. Uh, so that we can wake up refreshed and ready to hike the next day. All right, let's see how, how long it takes you to blow that up. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> we should have had a race. Think I can catch up, catch up and beat you? <laughs> let's go. Oh, I'm gonna whoop your butt. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. I'm done. I win. Do you want to test it out? That looks pretty comfy. I'm gonna lay down and test it out. Go for it. That actually looks pretty good, huh? Hey everybody, it's time to get into our bear canister. Cadence, what the heck is a bear canister? It's a can or a container that you store food in when you're camping. Yeah, and Honestly, these are really cool. They are a little heavy. Um, this is the alternative to doing a food bag where you would actually go ahead and tie your bag up uh, full of food, throw it up over a tree branch, 
and hoist it up out of the way so that animals can't get to it. On some national scenic trails, you're required to have one. Yeah, so we figured, you know what, let's just go ahead and get one. Uh, the new technology has designed these canisters. They're actually tested with real bears, uh, and they're pretty cool. This one is, uh, is actually bigger than we thought it was going to be. This is the Bear Vault BV450. Uh, they actually make one that is bigger than this. It's about this big, and uh, it weighs about two pounds, two, point, two pounds, one ounce. And what's really cool about this is made of a material that bears cannot get into. They don't have thumbs, posable thumbs, so they can't get into the lid. Uh, it's actually very difficult for humans to get into the lid. And yeah, raccoon, this will be safe for raccoons as well. They might be able to bat it around on the ground a little bit, but it's big enough that they're not going to be able to like pick it up and carry it off. And so we figured this was probably, while it weighs a little bit more than a food bag, probably a little bit safer for us to store our food in. And this is big enough that if we start doing multiple overnights, mm -hmm. we're probably going to be able to fit all of our food in it. And so the idea here is that instead of putting this up in a tree, you literally just lock it you and probably, you walk it away from your campsite and you set it on the ground. You could probably even um, put like a few things that we're carrying, like the pots or pans or something in there. Yeah, we might. Pretty much anything that's food or toiletries, anything that has a scent is going to go into this bin and then it's going to get stored a couple hundred feet away from our tent, uh, downwind, and uh, we'll just get it in the morning. Uh, we'll decorate it with some stickers so we can find it and uh, there we go. The really cool thing is that these are constructed so solidly that they actually double as a camp stool. So we'll be able to sit on it at camp or anywhere we need to. Like by the camp fire. Exactly. So that is our bear canister. I think we're going to test it. Let me see first off if I can get into it. There's a little button you press over here on the side and that deforms the lid a little bit and then it, it eventually unscrews. There it comes. And Cadence has something she's going to put inside. We're going to run our own bear canister test. Put it in there. What do you have? Um, I have a dog treat because our dog, Parker, is actually going to be the bear. All right, so there we go. Treat goes in the canister, <laughs> lid goes on. Now let's see if our, our dog bear, Parker, can get the treat out of the bear canister. Uh, you want a treat, Parker? You're going to have to get it out of the bear vault. <laughs> get it. Get it, Parker. Get it. Get the treat. Get that treat out of there. Get the it's treat. Right there. Get it's it. in there. Get the treat, Parker. Get it, Parker. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get, get it. it. Go get it, Parker. It looks like it works. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, it's time to check out our Hydro Blue VersaFlow water filter. This is an inline water filter. Lots of different filters like this on the market. This one I thought just fit our needs the best. So let's go ahead and check out what's inside. What's great about this water filter is it's super small, compact, and lightweight. And uh, here it is. This is the filter itself. So it has a dirty side and a clean side. And as you push water through, it filters that water and allows you to drink it. So pretty cool, pretty small, easy to fit in the pack. Comes with a couple other little features here. Um, it has a little hose that you can attach to the gray side and dip it right into a creek or a stream and drink on the other end of the filter. Or you could keep it clean and put it on the clean side and uh, using this little clamp, you could set it up like those uh, Camelback um, kits and actually have it to just drink through like a giant straw. So pretty cool. Uh, it also comes with a couple of these storage bags. Again, you can use these for gray water or for clean filtered water. A little sports cap on top so you could drink straight from the bag if you wanted to. I'm not a big fan of sports caps in general, but that's just me. Or you can go ahead and fill up this in the creek uh, or whatever, maybe it's a hand pump, whatever uh, water source you have on the trail and you can carry it for a while or you could immediately drink out of it through the filter or you could go ahead and uh, even hang it at your camp overnight upside down and let it drip filter right through the filter into a drinking container. Uh, the filter is threaded as well as having these nipples on it. Uh, it. It's also threaded on the inside here and it attached to a standard like water bottle, like a soda bottle, like 20 ounce bottle. So a lot of hikers, what they'll do is just use a recyclable bottle. They don't have some fancy aluminum water bottle or something. They just use a really simple light, thin plastic recyclable bottle and it can screw right in here on the clean side 
you can get your dirty water, force it through on the dirty side, and fill up your water bottle to drink out of. So we're gonna try it out. Let's head down to the creek. All right, it's time to grab some water out of the creek. Here we go, I got my, my bag. I'm gonna put it down here in the water and fill this up. Good moving water in this creek. It's not standing still, so that's really good. Take a couple of swipes at it here. All right, that is more than enough water. Let's take it up and get out of the creek here and enjoy some of this delicious hydration. All right, we've got our creek water in the bag. You ready to drink some of this deliciousness? No. Yeah, me it's neither. I'm kind of scared actually. Like the water was super muddy and uh -huh. my feet were stinking, sinking in the muck. Look and they are, they are covered in mud right now. Uh, pretty gross. But uh, the water was moving, so I feel like that's a good thing. Um, obviously we don't want to drink out of like standing water, even though I think the filter is supposed to work for that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to unscrew this. Actually what we're supposed to do before we do that is want to dry the bag off. So I'm just going to dry it off on my body. That way no water drips from the creek uh, can get onto our, you know, what we're going to drink. So I'm just going to rub that off on my clothes. There we go. It's dry. So we won't have any accidental drips, right? Yeah. So let's go ahead and open this up. And this is dirty now. We're not going to use that to drink out of. And I'm going to attach the dirty side of the filter. Here we go. So that just screws on there. I don't get what we're doing. All right. At yeah. All. And now we're going to take your water bottle and uh, we're going to put it on this end. So you keep the cap. We put your clean bottle on the clean side. These would be perfect to take with us. For yeah. Camping. And uh, here we go, we're gonna flip it upside down and we're gonna push some of this water through. It's all air, Dad. There it goes. Oh. <laughs> That's oh. probably enough, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna undo this. But how do you drink it? And now can? this is yeah. supposed to be clean and clear water. It looks pretty good. It's hard to tell because of the green container. You hang on to that. I'm gonna drink uh, out of the hose. So I'm gonna attach the hose. Smell it. it smells yeah. it smells like uh, San Pellegrino. But anyway, yeah. so we're gonna go ahead and take this hose. I'm gonna put this on the clean side. Push that on there. And now I should be able to just drink, drink the creek water. Disgusting. We're gonna do it on the count of three. Are you ready? No. <laughs> ready? No. One, two, <laughs> Here's knowing ya. Three. <laughs> Doesn't taste terrible. Mine just tastes like land from the... It tastes like that water tasted like, like the well, bottle? only a tiny bit. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Hey, if you see us in the next video, that means uh, hopefully we didn't get too sick, right? So here's, here's looking forward to the next one. We'll catch you on the next life hike. I want to actually try the water. Yeah! Can I try the water?